CosmeticCandiesFYI.com and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and comparison video and that product is the MAC Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator and in this video I will be comparing it to the Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. In my updated skincare routine video, one of my sweet, sweet subscribers recommended that I tried this Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Scrub or Mask because it was said to be a very close dupe for the MAC Mineralized Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. The MAC Volcanic Ash retails for $28 in which you are getting 3.4 fluid ounces worth of product. Now this is described as a highly effective dual purpose foaming cleansing and exfoliating scrub that blends natural volcanic ash with fine sugar crystals. It refines and unclogs the skin, adds instant moisture, and leaves the skin feeling soft and comfortably clean. And the key ingredients in this product are sugar and volcanic ash. Here we have the Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Mask. This product retails for $3.99 for which you'll be getting 6.0 fluid ounces and you can find this at your local drugstore. Now this is described as a unique mask that scrubs and works double time to detox the skin. It has naturally purifying activated charcoal to help absorb oil impurities without over drying the skin. Then it has black sugar that helps exfoliate away dull skin cells for softness and clarity. Perfect for all skin types. And the key ingredients in this product are sugar, activated charcoal, and coconut extract. The MAC Volcanic Ash smells a lot cleaner and fresh and just very simple. The charcoal and black sugar doesn't stink per se. The only issue I have with this one is that it has a very sweet artificial scent to it that's pretty pungent. It's very strong and it's very artificial and it has a hint of like clay or a earthy scent to it. So that earthy scent mixed with that artificial sweet scent. As you can see, I am in my jam jams. So I am pretty much ready for bed. So I decided to film this since I wanted to exfoliate tonight. So I thought this would be the best time to do this comparison video. I have my headband on to push my hair back so I don't get any of this stuff in my hair. I normally will cleanse my face with my MAC Green Gel Cleanser prior to doing any mask or any treatment to my skin. Um, if Again, if you want to see my full skincare routine video, I will link that down below. But since I've been in the house all day, there's really, I don't really feel the need that I have to wash my face. I haven't been wearing any makeup and I've been in the house all day. So I just cleansed my face really quickly with a um, towelette, a cleansing and makeup removing towelette. I'm actually going to just spray my face, mist my face. On this side, I'm going to be putting the MAC Volcanic Ash, and on this side, I'm going to be putting the Charcoal and Black Sugar. So let's start it out with the MAC Volcanic Ash. You guys have already seen the texture and what it looks like already. So this is how I normally apply it. I just dot it on. I like the abrasiveness of this because it helps to really get the dry flakes off and I don't really break out you see how hard it is to move it around if you don't have any water so that's one thing you want to take into consideration if you're not going to use water with this it will be very abrasive on the skin now anyway like I said I don't normally break out like all over my face the only places I break out are like along my cheeks and the sides of my face like the perimeter of my face so when I use this this is where I really focus the product now I'm going to put on this side the Freeman charcoal and black sugar it's still thick but it's, it's kind of liquidy I think I use too much oh yeah and just like I suspected this is not giving me a very abrasive exfoliation it's exfoliating like I feel like this will definitely get the job done but it's not giving me um that hard thick rough exfoliation this is very fine and as you can see it's not as dark at all 
This is almost like if I took sugar. I feel like this is if I took sh granulated white sugar out of my pantry and mixed it with like something dark with this charcoal and then just rubbed it on my face. I did read that this is normal charcoal does warm up when you activate it like when you activate it on the skin it's going to feel like a thermal treatment which is why they only recommend to keep this on the skin for five to seven minutes so I'm just going to wait the five to seven minutes and then I will be back to show you guys what it looks like after a few minutes um, it's been roughly about five to six minutes now probably seven minutes and the side that has the MAC Volcanic Ash feels perfectly fine, feels very comfortable on the skin. The Freeman Black Sugar Mask, however, is a little bit on the tingly, kind of spicy side, for the lack of a better word to describe it. But this is what it looks like after a few minutes. Now my next step is to wash my face and see how my skin feels. Alright guys, so I am back. My face is still wet, so I haven't touched my face yet. I don't know what it feels like yet. My face is actually still tingling on this side a little bit and I don't know how I feel about that. I actually do not like that. So this is pretty smooth. As you can see, like my fingers glide across my face pretty smooth. My fingers are pulling on this side because this side is a little bit more matte and dry. I don't want to say that this side is dry because you know how your face feels tight when it's dry? It's not dry, it's just very matte. Okay guys, so let's get straight to the point and the bottom line. Are these products comparable to each other? Is the Freeman Charcoal Black Sugar a dupe to the MAC Volcanic Ash? I would have to say yes and no. Ultimately, they do give you the same instant results. However, I do have to say that no, these aren't exactly comparable to each other and they can't be a dupe. This cannot be a dupe for the MAC because the long-term results that you will yield from using both of these products over time are gonna be totally different because the ingredients are different. Yes, they both exfoliate, but as far as long-term results, how your skin is going to feel over time, I don't feel as though that they will yield the same results. I would actually just stick with my MAC Volcanic Ash. I would pay the $28 and get this one because I really like the way that it benefits my skin. Alright guys, so that is it for my comparison review of the MAC Volcanic Ash and the Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Scrubs. Now, if you guys have used either one of these products before, please leave a comment below. Let's get a little community chat going on. You let me know or everybody else who watches this video what you think of these products. Rate this video a thumbs up if you would like to see me compare the Freeman Mask to the Lush Dark Angel Cleanser because I've heard that that is what this is more comparable to because they actually both have the same ingredients of black sugar and charcoal. Charcoal? Charcoal. To my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Don't forget to click the link on the right if you want to see my most recent Crushed Roses tutorial. Also, don't forget to check me out on all of my social networks, Facebook, Twitter, my blog, and Instagram. Bye!